All right, so what I'm doing today is raising up my sprinkler heads. And you can see this one right here, if I get low enough, that's about where it should be, just about a half inch or inch above the surface of the ground. So over the years, they, 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 tend, they can get covered up, especially when they're not in use, and that, this one hasn't been in use for a while. So these are 1800 SAMs, and you can see how quickly, watch how quickly these go down. Like when the water's pushing this up and they're spraying, when they're done, the water turns off, the valve closes, and so that downward pressure acts you know, much like you would if you were just continually hitting this with a hammer. And when the ground around it's wet, it can make it go down a bit. That added to when you're, you know, I mulch my grass when I mow it. And so that builds up over the years and you got to dig them up. All right, so here's my control box. There's a main trunk line that connects these two pipes. This pipe goes out this way and then, and then turns that way. And this pipe just goes straight and out into the yard. When I charge the lines with air, and you could do it with water, I just don't want to deal with the mud. When you charge the lines with air, and then I turn this counterclockwise, that opens the line, lets air go in. That's how I find my sprinkler heads. And you just listen for the air coming out. You can see this one here is one I found and started to dig up. And you can see that is a good inch, inch and a half below the level of the ground. And it was pretty bare. I couldn't see it till I heard it. And then here's other ones that I found. And when I find them, I just stick a screwdriver by it, and then I'll dig it up next. I've marked this here. Here's uh, another head. The process is pretty straightforward. This is your sprinkler out of the ground. And with this elbow coming out the bottom, there's typically an extension hub that reaches to the trunk. This is what I do not want to cut. It's, it's fairly thick hose. Nonetheless, it will cut. And so I'm going to measure with the shovel. I want to see that much of the shovel above ground, the top where it's not reaching the sprinkler, so that I don't cut that, that hose. And that's the number one thing to be careful of. That's our suspect hole. So we'll just go ahead and start getting to it. And basically, I just take a square around it. You have to remove topsoil. Here's our sprinkler head and again you can see it's pretty far below ground, a couple inches. Now that I've got a lot of the dirt out of there and you can see I can wobble it, it moves now. I want to find out which direction this is going. Dig down a bit with the screwdriver till I can feel it. This is all going to vary from sprinkler head to sprinkler head. That one, this one is particularly deep. So now that we took that section out, this is plenty loose. So I can get this to gr bend a little more gradually like this. So what I'll do is I'll put dirt underneath this pipe. So that that's going to sit right like that. And then all I need to do now is backfill. And so now that you've got this pretty good sized hole, you got to kind of fill in the grass chunks and dirt. And one thing that's nice is grass is very forgiving. So it may look ugly for a little bit, but it'll get It'll get better pretty quick. All right, so now I just, now all I do is find places to wedge the dirt back in. And again, I'm not gonna be super careful because in a couple mowings, this will all be back to normal. So now step around either side of the sprinkler. And then I, sometimes I'll do this just to get it I don't want the lawn mower to hit it, and that's the job. One down, eight more to go. What fun. Hope this video helps. Give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.